This is a review of the Circus Vargas Traveling Circus. They've been in business since 1969, and they're an old-fashioned traveling circus. They go from town to town in trucks, packing up this tent and everything else along with it, bringing all the performers. This is what the tent looks like on the inside. So every seat is a good seat in here. You're, everybody's close to the action. So I'll just, just give you an idea of what you see and where you choose to sit, depending on where you want to buy your tickets. And there's an old-fashioned singing ringmaster with the top hat. And a really good silly clown guy that keeps the action going in between the acts. He was great. We'll see more of him later. And there's a lot of dancing, a lot of performances. Now, well, the one thing they don't have is animals. So the original Circus Vargas had elephants and tigers and things. They've done away with all of that. And now it's people doing all kinds of human tricks. So the rest of this video review of the Circus Vargas, I'm going to be showing you some, but not all, of the tricks that these people do. And... Very impressive stuff. A lot of acrobatics and this unicycle stunt team uh, had perfect balance. It was really fun to watch doing all kinds of things. Like, uh, how about guys on a unicycle holding up a tightrope, then a woman walks on the tightrope and juggles at the same time. And these performers were also running the circus. So if you went out to buy tickets, you would buy it from them or you'd see them working in the hot dog stand while the other acts were on stage. So they're real, real deal circus people. And they also have a crossbow guy, of course, who can shoot forwards or backwards and did a lot of more impressive things with the crossbow. If you're into this sort of thing, this guy put on a great show. And the lady he was shooting at got on the trapeze and did some wild stunts as well. So she is much more than a target. And of course, the circus has a contortionist. Every circus must have at least one contortionist. This lady put on a great twisty, bendy show. And uh, I think emblematic that at the circus, there are a lot of beautiful people doing a lot of difficult things. And let's say you're not into lady contortionists. Well, no problem. How about rock and roll juggler guy? So whatever you're into, there's some kind of sexy person putting on a good show. And this juggling act really made me think about the kids in the audience. This is the sort of thing where I think if you're an impressionable kid, you might say, hey, maybe I could do that and get some tennis balls at home and learn to be a juggler. So I think the circus is great for that as well. And this is the Wheel of Death. So they build this thing in the middle of the ring while the clown is distracting you. And then these guys get inside these wheels and jump in and out of them and put on a real scary show. And they have another classic loud, dangerous machine, which is the motorcycle Ball of Death. So you got the Wheel of Death and the Ball of Death. And they get four motorcycles in here, ultimately. I'm not going to show you that. You have to go to the show to see that. But here's three of them going around and around and around and around with lights. And the tent lights turned off. And we mentioned the clown earlier. So he pulls audience members out of the audience and makes them do a classic uh, Romeo and Juliet style romance movie with violence. Um, overacting and just general silliness so if you're in the audience you do actually get to be part of the show i don't i don't think they forced anybody into this this these people volunteered and they clearly were having a good time and hamming it up and i, I don't think they were part of the cast because they were there with, with husbands and wives and kids and stuff so you get to be part of the show and it's it's super fun the, the clown guy Really, any circus, the, a good clown or a bad clown can make it or ruin it. And this, this guy was great in the, uh, in the ring and also out in the audience. But wait, there's more. If you go to Circus Vargas, you also get flying acrobats. So at this point, every impressionable kid who lives near a park with a teeter-totter is thinking, hey, let's bring a ladder down to the park and, and see what happens. Uh, doing backflips, double backflips, flipping people onto people, and even flipping people onto a pole that is being held by one single guy like that. Incredible balance and coordination amongst these people. Obviously, they probably can't gain or lose weight or it ruins the whole act. And then how about team juggling? Sure, we saw one guy juggling all by himself, but this is a team of jugglers with incredible skill, juggling the pins, <laughs> doing acrobatics. And wait, can they borrow the unicycles from the guys at the beginning of the video? Sure, they can. So now you got unicycle juggling loop performers putting on an incredible show. To be here live and to see people do this, I think, you know, especially for little kids and for old people who remember being a little kid, I highly recommend Circus Vargas. It's affordable, it's fun, and uh, you'll have a good time. You'll laugh, you'll be amazed, you'll have an awesome time. And it's great to think that these people are still, you know, going back to the 1800s, it was a tradition for these kind of circuses to travel around the country. So it's great that Circus Vargas is still doing that.